Good morning. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. His Highness Sheikh Nahyan bin Baraka Nahyan, Secretary Colin Powell, Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. This is the seventh year that we have held this forum, and each year the event grows in terms of the number of people attending and learning about the discussions, the international influence of our invited speakers, the relevance of its content to the world of banking and finance, and the impact of those discussions. The Global Financial Market Forum began rather modestly as a series of workshops which NBAD organized for our customers to discuss trading strategies and financial markets. Today, we are very proud that the forum has become a significant international event attracting the participation of senior financiers from every corner of the globe. In many ways, the growth of this event has mirrored the growth of NBAD business while we remain firmly committed to growing our domestic business and finding ways to do more for our UAE clients. We are also determined to expand our business over time in what we term the West East Corridor from West Africa to East Asia. This is the fastest growing economic region in the world, home for 24 rapidly growing economies. Abu Dhabi is at the very heart of this region, and we are very excited about the opportunities it presents. Much of what you will hear at this forum relates directly to the issues of opportunities for trade investment along the West East Corridor. Our excitement for this region is shared by many of Abu Dhabi great institution, which are represented here today and which have grown steadily and expanded internationally over the, over the past 40 years. While NBAD continues to host the Global Financial Market Forum, we are very pleased and proud to have the support of Abu Dhabi and other institutions. Over the course of the next two days, we shall be addressing major subjects affecting the leading growth economies of the world about Abu Dhabi progress in creating its new international financial center, as well as the challenges of financing the future of energy. Later on, we shall consider together the growing influence of Asia and the global economy and the vital role all our businesses have to support and develop the societies in which we operate. Tomorrow, we shall address trends in financial regulation, sovereign wealth funds and the role they play in global assets management, and the growth of the aviation industry and its financing needs, and Abu Dhabi role in the international financial arena. We have brought together some of the world's greatest minds, business leaders, and policy makers to debate those subjects and share their insight with all of us. We are incredibly grateful to all of the speakers for dedicating their time to participate at this forum, and I am sure we all look forward very much to hearing your views. And to all of you attending this forum, I hope you find the next two days to be valuable and stimulating, both in terms of the formal discussions taking place in this auditorium and the informal discussion at the many fringe events organized by NBAD. Abu Dhabi financial services sector has grown steadily for the last 40 years. The government of Abu Dhabi has launched an exciting initiative to support and sustain future growth of the UAE financial sector over the long term. I refer to Abu Dhabi global market, which is being created as the new international financial center in Abu Dhabi. 
the chairman of the Abu Dhabi Global Market is a man who has spent over 20 years successfully leading flagship projects and initiatives on behalf of the government. And we are very pleased to have him with us here today. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming His Excellency Ahmed Ali Asayr. 